Welcome to True Crime with Strategic Eyes. Strategic back again. What's going on, guys? I want to share with you guys an excerpt from a video that I did a little while back. This video was titled, Was Stefan Stern's Motive for Ending Madeline Soto Due to Pregnancy? Now, this video basically caused a lot of controversy because a lot of people didn't want to talk about the fact that there's a possibility, a theory, that Madeline either was pregnant or Stefan Stearns and even Jen Soto believed she may have been pregnant and that could have somehow triggered this calamity where her life was taken. But I want to play an excerpt for you guys. It has nothing to do with pregnancy. That has to do with me taking in the information that I got to deduce the relationship that De Jen and Stefan had. And the reason why I'm playing this for you guys is I definitely encourage each and every single one of you to take the time to go and re-watch my videos. Because when you re-watch it and when you're going and you're digesting what's being said, you're going to realize that a lot of what I've been saying is starting to come to pass. It's starting to be found to be truthful. Not because I have some insight into the investigation, but it's just all a part of the investigative process where you take in the information you have and you use your skills of deduction, the skills that you learn through experience and through training as an investigator that helps you ferret through those lies and discover the truth. Listen to this. And I'm going to read it from this third paragraph here. That'd be one, two, and three. And this is talking to the psychologist, I believe. I think the school counselor, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. And it says, at each of their check-ins during December, January, and February. So December is allegedly when Stephen Stearns left the home. So December, January, and February. But I want you guys to know that there's no evidence that Stephen Stearns never came back to visit. There's no testimony that that didn't happen. There's no testimony he didn't spend the night every now and then. There's no testimony that him and Jen Soto were enemies until the night Maddie's, Maddie passed was taken away from us. I wouldn't say... All right, so remember, this video was recorded prior to when we got those document dumps that showed that... The father, Chris Stearns, testified to, to or gave a testimony or, or, or statement to police that his son had visited multiple times to Jen Soto's house. This is before Jen Soto's um, uh, statements were released where she said the same thing. This is before we knew that he was going there. And just from looking at the evidence, I was able to deduce that... This relationship never truly ended. And to this day, to this moment, we don't have a clear picture of what the relationship was like during this time between December and February with Jen Soto and Stefan Stearns. Were they broken up because she no longer loved him? Were they broken up because of SEX? Were they broken up because of medication? Were they broken up because he was a thief? Or were they just separated because he had a better job opportunity with his father? Did, did he move out because, you know, you know they were planning, and then they were planning to come back together and have this kind of sister-wife kind of relationship? We don't know because half of the testimony is that they were over. The other part of the testimony is that they're still friends. They're still best friends. They're still lovers. They still have feelings for each other and they're planning on bringing themselves back together and living as a family. This is before we had that information and I was able to do that. Let's keep going. They passed away because that sometimes would construe natural causes. No, she was literally taken away from us. So this may not be the last time that Maddie saw Stephen Stearns and was alone with Stephen Stearns and was victimized by Stephen Stearns. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mean to bounce around because right now we're talking about why it may not have happened, but think about it. What would make Stefan Stern so bold that he would, on the first night, allegedly back into the home? That he would immediately go into the room with, 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 with Maddie and, and continue the abuse that night. And I have proof that he continued that abuse that night. Hmm. It's not exclusive information. It's information people have just bypassed that they didn't understand was probative. Hmm. We have proof that he essayed her that night. What would give him the balls and the gumption to do that if him and Jen were on the outs and they were enemies and they hated each other and they broke up? I'm using hyperbole, of course. 
and they broke up and he went back home. He moved all the stuff out and he never had any contact again. And then lo and behold, a couple days after her birthday, it's like, hey, uh, come on up here. I need help with Maddie. I need help with Maddie. What do you need help with Maddie for? Maddie's 13 years old. What do you need help with her for? Mm. I need help with Maddie. Come on up here. And he's just like, okay, I'm coming. And he drives three hours. He brings just minimal clothing, minimal clothing, like enough clothing just for like a day or two. Mm. And then right back at it. Door closes, torture begins. Mm. Doesn't make much sense, right? Doesn't really make much sense. Well, I'm saying it for him. Let's keep going. So please check out these old videos, guys. Check out these old videos because there's so much probative things in there that we've deduced from the evidence that we had at the time that's now proven out to be true. And my point in making that statement, guys, that you just watched, that replay of what you just watched, is that there was space in between the time of December and February where Stephen Stearns visited this poor child. Because we know he wasn't visiting Jen. He didn't care about Jen. He wanted access to the child where he visited this poor child and he abused her. And that could have accounted for the time that it take for her to maybe and possibly get pregnant. Because when I made this theory, people were saying, well, how could she have been pregnant if the last time he saw her in January? Come on, strategic. December, January, February. She had her period in January. He didn't see her since December. Now we know that's not true. We know that Stephen Stearns had been up there at least once or twice a month, every single month since he left that home in January, in December, excuse me, since he left that home in December. And I don't believe Jen when she says it was only two to three times. I don't believe it because we get more testimony coming in that he was up there almost every week. And she even slipped him and said, oh, he kept getting packages here. So he's constantly coming up to get his packages, constantly driving three hours to get packages. He would save more money. It's the father said he gave him like $60 to be able to afford the gas for both ways. That's $60. Most P.O. boxes cost between $60 and $120, depending, depending on what region you're in and how long you want that P.O. box to be open for. It had been cheaper for Stephen Stearns to open up a P.O. box in his local postal office or have his packages delivered at UPS or FedEx and have them hold it there, which you can do with packages, than to travel three hours one way, six hours round trip just to get a package from Amazon from Jen Soto's house. I believe this man was up there weekly and spending days at a time in between those visits while or rather after he officially moved out in December from Jen Soto's house. And through looking at the evidence, through experience and deductive skills, we were able to figure that out without the evidence that we have now to this day. Guys, you got to watch those old videos because that is where you're going to find the truth. I appreciate you guys for your support. I love this community. I'm humbled by all the support that I'm getting. Um, guys, I don't want to date this video, but I got to say it. You know, um, never forget 9-11, all the first responders, all of the civil servants, all of the bankers, all the civilians, all the people who died and lost their life, and all of our service people who also lost their life in the ensuing wars that all started because some madman decided that he wanted to hurt innocent Americans over political ideology. Guys, never forget 9-11. Never forget. Strategic is out of here. Peace.